Hey guys, Chicky Chicky here. I am recording a performance video to um, to actually see what the game will be like when it's patched up because I think there's a DLC patch coming very very soon. Uh, in this video, I have unlocked the game to run at 99 uh, frames per second, and as you can see, it isn't um, really a smooth experience. Uh, the uh, well, the FPS. Uh, in the uh, left corner, it's a lot of it uh, dodgy to say the least. But you can see it's it's running up and down all all the time, and whenever it drops even like a half a frame, the the steering gets messed up, the audio even gets messed up. I mean, it's insane. You can you can see uh, my car is like wiggling back and forth, and. Uh, this happened even if it's like one half frame, and what happens when it drops even a half frame is that your steering gets affected as well. So it becomes very unresponsive. It feels like you're driving like a, a big tank or something. So I knew this game wasn't playable with anything higher than, than 30 FPS, but this is just like a showcase video of how the performance is right now. And I'm running this on a pretty high-end system, so it's not that. Um, I'm having it running with uh, this moment an EVGDA, uh, GTX 780 Classified. And it's uh, not that super high of a clock, it's at 1280 MHz at this point. And I think about 400 extra on the, uh, the RAM. but. The usage in this video of my GPU, uh, I think it like peaked on 64 or 65 percent, something. So it's barely even using my, my GPU, even though at 99 frames per second, I actually use the the, the, the overclock. Uh, I think when I run in 60 frames per second, it doesn't really even go as high as the, the overclock. This is around at uh, 1100 megahertz, something. But um, yeah, I was I'm starting out in the desert here, which um, the, is the best place FPS, uh, FPS wise, and then I'm going down to the Bay Area, if you want to call it like that, uh, where it's one of the, the biggest drop zones when it comes to, to FPS. Uh, I have no problem running this game at uh, 30 FPS, it, it works fine, but if you bypass it with any command line like I'm doing now, yeah, it's just unplayable, just unplayable. I mean, it's nice to have the the extra frames, but uh, I mean, you, you can see the the FPS is all over the place. We're about to hit one of the FPS zones here. I think it went up. I'll come down here and, and we just like make a, a weird like you know top yeah, like this, and the FPS goes down to like 50 or something. And the car becomes so unresponsive. And you can see the FPS going all over the place, and, and there's no really like good reason for that. I mean, it's not taxing my my GPU. Um, and, well, my CPU runs at 4.4 gigahertz, but but it's barely using that either. And it sits around at like I think it's 35 or something in, in usage. So, not really sure what why this problem uh, occurs. Um, well, this game was developed for the the current gen consoles, the PS3 and the Xbox um, 360 in, in in mind, and uh, I think I read somewhere that they they locked it to 30 FPS to to make Overwatch uh, work, or if it was all drive. Or no, all drive. It was all drive. Sorry, my bad. Which I do not understand at all. Uh, I mean, why would you have to limit the FPS to 30 to make all drive work? Which isn't that, you know, amazing a feature anyway. So this part is the, the worst as you can see. Just look at uh, how fast my car accelerates. And, and this car is maximum upgraded by the way. Slammed every upgrade to it. So yeah, I mean, it's barely coming around the corner. Look at that massive acceleration. Also, if you use NOS, as you probably, well, not NOS, NOS is a brand, Nitrous. If you use Nitrous, nothing happens more or less when you're lagging like this. Uh, it's totally useless. 
So if you have anyone um, running the game at unlocked frame rate, they will have a hard time. Well, they don't have a hard time. They, it was impossible to to get any good times. Uh, but it would also make the game broken if you run it at a higher FPS. What happens is that um, if I use an EMP, I'm sure they're using this video to to just show it to you. Um, it will also decrease the time for a full lock-on. I'm not sure if it decreases the uh, reload time as well. So, not not a sheet reload, but half a sheet maybe. So at least we're using the the EMP. But yeah, but as you can see, it's <laughs> it's not really a pleasant experience. Um, I have a um, 144 hertz mega uh, mega turn monitor so um, I would like to enjoy this game at a higher frame rate but currently I am not capable to so I'm hoping the DLC patch which probably come around next week will fix this stay tuned for an upcoming uh, video for that